I think everybody knows if they haven't by now, my, my dad passed away, a uh, medical emergency that caused a uh, car accident, tragically passed away. But I want to say thank you um, to the Husker Nation, including media, uh, fans, colleagues, uh, <clears throat> student athletes, um, all the coaches around the country, uh, just for the tweets, for the cards, for the texts, and for the kind words. Uh, so thank you guys very much. Anybody that sent anything, it meant a lot to me and the family. Yeah, um, obviously you don't want things like that to happen. Uh, my dad was a football coach for a long time, and I know what he want, would want me to do. I know what he trained me to be. Um, and so uh, you don't want things like that to happen. Nobody does. Uh, but, you know, right now we have a job to do. He would want me to do my job. Uh, he wants me to be here for the players and for this program, um, and that's what I'm going to do. So, it's a, um, you know, it's never out of the back of your mind, but – you got to find a way to get it done. Uh, I learned everything, not X's and O's. Um, you know, those he he was a, you know, he was a football coach. But when you're young, I don't think X's and O's are um, that important. Um, but I learned how to be tough. I learned how to how to be a real guy. I learned how to, um, you know, discipline guys, but also. Um, by the, the showing at his visitation, his funeral, it showed how many lives he touched. And I learned how to discipline guys and, and be hard on them, but also how to love kids and, and show them how to become really good dads and really good husbands and really good brothers and really good fathers and really good people in the community. Uh, so what did I learn from him? I learned everything. Um, you know, it was just, it was, a, it was amazing to see some people that I remember when I was a little guy playing. Um, it's amazing to see now that our grandfathers that played for him and their fathers and now their children that he may have substituted or helped, helped with. So three generations coming through there. And it's just amazing to hear uh, some of the stories you never heard and just how much they thought that he impacted their life. Yeah, I think, you know, um, obviously, you know, Plummer was the quarterback to start the season, so he can operate the entire offense. Uh, you know, what he's been doing as of late is a little different than um, running the whole show, but he's very capable of running the whole show. So I think when he comes in, you have to be ready for everything. I know, you know, some people said, well, they only ran it when he's come in, but he can definitely run the whole show. Um, <clears throat> as if number 12 comes in, you know, he's kind of taken over the Wildcat role um, as Xander Horvath has been injured a little bit. Um, but I'm sure he can operate, you know, in the past game as well. So I think you got to understand what they're doing with their piece of the offense now. But you also have to understand that they're real quarterbacks and they can they can run the whole offense. So we can't just put 11 guys up in the box and defend the run. we got to be ready for them to throw the football and do a lot of different things. Yeah, I mean, I think even last year going into the football game, um, you know, we all know how good of a player Rondell Moore is and how well he's doing in the NFL now. Um, going into the last year's football game, he was a little banged up, and we thought David Bell was probably the most dangerous target last year with Rondell being a little banged up, um, which has been exemplified this year, been magnified this year um, by what he's done. I think he's probably – if not the best receiver in the conference, one of the best for sure and, and across the country. So um, he's fast. He's got size. Um, he can do things with the ball after the catch. Um, shoot, last year, you guys probably remember, we threw a, they threw a post right into you know, a, a cover three, and we had two guys right there. He catches it and runs for an 80-yard touchdown. So he's a, dangerous, he's a dangerous, dangerous weapon, and they complement him with some other receivers, and they have a really good tight end. Um, you know, along with Coach Brom, I think is one of the better play callers in the country. He's very creative, um, finds the weaknesses in what you do um, every week, and, and it's, there's a lot to prepare for. Yeah, I mean, Miles is. 
taking on a huge responsibility as a starter. Uh, but Miles has been training for this job for a long time. Miles stepped in as a starter last year versus Northwestern and ended up with two picks. Now we don't expect him to come in here and get two picks right away again, but he responded well last time when he was asked to uh, step up as a starter. I don't expect anything less from this year. He's, he's trained, he's prepared, um, and I think that he's, he's ready to go. He's ready for it to be his time. Yep, so you got Noah. Um, you know, there's been some Noah Polygates. Obviously, uh, some other guys are training back there. Uh, Lane McCallum, Phelan Sanford, Marquise Buford's been kind of rolling back and forth between corner and safety. So I feel good about the depth we have back there. We have guys that understand what to do. They'll be in the right spot, and, and they're going to make plays back there. So I feel good about what Coach Fisher has and, and how he's developed those, those next group of guys. Yeah, uh, obviously, you know, they've, they've had uh, their ups and downs, uh, you know, but part of that comes when you, you know, Coach Brahm is, is a, a space player and he likes to get five out and he likes to take advantage of space. And there's a lot of times when it's five on five or, or five on four when a lot of other teams are protecting with the back and the tight end. So I think those offensive linemen at Purdue have a big responsibility um, and they've done a good job. Um, you know, I think this is a game where it's a good game for everybody because, you know, against Michigan and Minnesota, um, even though we didn't necessarily earn the right to rush the passer as much, um, this game I think there's going to be a little bit more air attack. So I think our guys are going to have a good chance to, to go and, and rush the passer a little bit, um, whether it's just you know lining up four against five or whether you're bringing some type of pressure. But it's going to be a good game for our guys and going to be good to get back in the rhythm of rushing the passer. Deontay's been so good at preventing those, those deep passes over the top. How well do you think the guys that will be out on Saturday can yeah, I think, you know, I think that Deontay's a special player, but he's been trained the same way as the other guys have. I don't expect there to be a drop off. Um, Miles is Miles is ready to go. Miles is a really good football player. Uh, Miles knows what he's doing. Um, he's got good eyes. He's got good feet. Um, he's a talented football player. So I don't expect any drop off. And obviously, we're watching the film, and we know that these guys are going to take some deep shots, and we've got to be able to to you know hold up against those. Uh, you know, I just thought a lot of those guys were um, probably at that point in time. Listen, when death happens, everybody deals with it differently. And we're dealing with 18 to 22 year old guys. And at that point in time, I'm sure a lot of them didn't know what to say to me or didn't know how to react. Um, and by no fault of their own, some of the spotlight had been shed on that situation. I didn't want the spotlight on that. I wanted it to be on them, and I wanted them to know that even though I'm going through something, I got their back. I love them. I need them to get through this. I need them more than they need me. And so, you know, I just thought it was the right time to talk to those guys about it. Honestly, how are you doing? You know, it's, it's, it's not a – I don't think it's, a, it's ever going to get better, but it gets easier. So um, we're doing good. You know, my family's doing good, trying to take care of mom, um, but we're doing good.